Hello friends, welcome to the YouTube channel of Easy Study. It is specially designed to provide the free practice material to the students. I am your host, Harpreet Singh Sidhu. I am more than happy to have you join us today. Let's start the video. Well, last week we talked about buying camping equipment and today I'd like to talk to you about buying a bicycle. A simple enough exercise you might imagine, but there are lots of things to look out for to make sure you get the best deal for your money. Well, the range of bicycles is enormous. There are racing bikes, touring bikes, mountain bikes, or just plain ordinary bikes for riding around town. They vary enormously in two basic ways, price and quality. This means that the choice you make will probably be determined by the amount of money you want to pay, your own personal needs, what is actually available, or a compromise of all three things. Single speed cycles, that is bikes with no gears, are really only suited to short, casual rides. 
Their attraction is their simplicity and reliability. After years of neglect, they still manage to function, though not always too efficiently. Three speed cycles, on the other hand, are all that is really necessary for most town riding, going to the shops and things like that. Like the single speed bike, they are simple and reliable. If you are going to be going up and down lots of hills, then you'll probably want something more efficient. Five and ten speed bicycles are best suited to riding over long distances or hilly terrain and to serious touring. So if it's serious touring you're interested in, get a five or ten speed bike. However, it's worth remembering that the difference in price between a five and ten speed cycle is usually very little, and so it's well worth paying that little bit extra to get the ten speed one. Now the next thing we need to look at is size. Buying a cycle is like buying clothes. First of all you find the right size and then you try it on to see if it fits. Contrary to what you might imagine, the size of the cycle is not determined by the size of the wheels, except in children's cycles, but by the size of the frame.
Now, stresses at university, being away from home and uh, having to look after yourselves, uh, learning your way around the campus, all contribute to making it quite hard sometimes to ensure that your diet is adequate. So, today, I'm going to talk about ways of making sure that you eat well, while at the same time staying within your budget. Thanks for watching. If you found the video informative and enjoyable, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. If you have suggestions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. We appreciate your support. Follow us on other social media platforms as well. See you soon.